street food. Street foodies, believe it or not, we are still in Malaysia. These videos make it seem like I went on vacation for two months. This is not the case, but I did eat a lot. My friends Brandon and Tina like routine. They like to pick a place and stick with it, which is how they met Liang and Lung. This Chinese couple owns a stall next to the beach called Sizzlin Chicken. It's a pretty well-known spot in Penang. I was born in Penang. Oh, okay. Okay, but my father actually was born in China. Liang's got great English and she was telling me a lot about Malaysian people. I mean, of course everywhere got good and bad people. <laughs> sure. But, uh, <laughs> but uh, we, I think Vietnam people are still quite friendly, helpful. Uh, yeah, and, and uh, oh, one thing we proud is uh, we can speak many languages. Oh yeah? <laughs> so like what? Like, like me, like me, to say me. I can speak Mandarin, I can speak my native language, China language, I can speak Bahasa Malaysia, of course, and I can speak English. You know Cantonese, the Hong Kong, because we always watch the Hong Kong movies. Yeah, a bit of Thai, a bit of, a bit of Japanese, a bit of Korean. <laughs> we all learn a bit of it. Hokkien, of course! Penang people have to know how to speak Hokkien because uh, I think uh, Penang is the most Hokkien people. I, it's a Chinese language. It's Chinese it's language, one of the Chinese languages. Yes. Oh, okay. Very popular. Taiwan, some of the Taiwan movies, they speak Hokkien. Liang is from Chinese descent, so her cooking is basically Chinese. In English, she calls this sizzling chicken, but in Chinese, it's tia ban ji. This is a traditional stir fry dish. Liang fries the chicken and the vegetables over a strong flame, stirring it constantly. She adds some seasonings, she stirs it some more. The finishing touch is that she dumps it all onto a hot iron plate. Tie means iron in Chinese. That's how the dish gets its name. The food is served still sizzling and we eat it with rice. This is the version Liang makes for Tina. It's got no spice and it's got no bean sprouts. The actual version of Tie Ban Tea looks like this. This one is our normal sizzling I told you with uh, With the bean sprouts. Mm. I saw the chili. Ooh. When Liang heard that I lived in China, she wanted to make me the real version of the dish too, so she made us an extra Tie Ban Tea for free. Liang is awesome. This one was a lot spicier, it tasted a lot more like home. After lunch, we went parasailing. Husband and wife, preparing for the journey. Hold up, after lunch? What were we thinking? It's like this, we got directions for what to do while they were clipping us into the thing. So when you come in, you got to pull on this side. Pull? That's Hold it. this, all right, I got that much. Hold this. Hands up. Hands up. You pull the red one? Red one, only one side, two hand pull. Just All of the fenders, this one. Okay. He's like, hold on, then let go. There. Okay, he pull, pull. I mean the pitch, he let go, you have to let go. Let go. Uh, when I say pull otter, pull otter. If pull otter, you pull. With two hands. Ah, uh, two hands. And I'm like, can I get a recap? And then he says, run. And I'm like, wait, run now? Ashley continued her involuntary screaming for the majority of our ascent. I'm pretty sure Ashley wet her pants on takeoff. Parasailing is a lot of fun, even when your view is 90% made up of your wife's ponytail. When it's time to land, I'm looking at the guy on the beach, trying to determine when it's time to pull the otter. Finally, I discern he's saying pull harder, so I do, and then we landed without a fuss. Oh, I can feel that in the upper thigh region, especially. Ashley did kind of wound my ankle in the landing, but outside of that, we fared pretty well. Again, it's super cheap, so you know it's safe. Leave a comment about sizzling chicken or parasailing tactics. Next week is our final week in Malaysia. Join us on Friday for that. Until then, eat it on the street. Watch out for the parasites. Street food. You hold on, you run, you pull here. Can I get a flashcards? or something and write it, I'm a visual learner. It like, I pull where, boom, and then like run. <laughs> and then we Ashley didn't let go for the first like, I'm telling you, baby, you need to let go. They said to let go, that was one of the points in the, in, the, in the tutorial that we got. Then he starts saying pull otter, which I thought otter was the ropes, but otter it turns out is just harder with the accent. So I was pulling otter as straight up hard as I could and it wasn't helping. They're like, no, otter. And I'm like, this otter? Cause I'm pulling it. Anyway, it was, uh, it was a trip.